Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, the objective is going to be to determine charges. And specifically, I'm going to be showing you a series of pictures, and they'll have positive and negative particles on them. And it's simply counting up the number of positive particles and the number of negative particles and determining what is the overall charge. Let me show what I mean. This is an activity we did in class today where students went around the room and they went from station to station and they simply determined the charge of the picture. What is the charge shown here? And it's really just a matter of counting up the number of positives and the number of negatives and seeing what the difference is between them. Let me show you. Okay, let's count up the number of positive charges. I'm going to cross these off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight positive charges here. I'm just going to make a little note on the side that I have eight positive charges. How many negative charges? Let's cross them out as we count them. One, two, three, four, five. There are five negative charges. And so what I want you to see is that you can look at this a few ways with the overall charge. Well, I have eight positives, five negatives. Which one do I have more of? Obviously, I have more of the positives. How many do I have more of them? Okay, and the answer is I have three more positives, and therefore the overall charge in this page is three plus. Another way you can actually look at this, and I'll put this up in a different part of the screen here, is as a math problem, eight plus minus five equals a three positive charge. So there's a few ways to look at this, either one using as a math equation or simply as just saying which one do I have more of and how many would work. So the overall charge in this picture is 3. Try the next picture. Okay guys, here we go. A good idea for you would be to press pause on the, the scrolling bar at the top of your screen. Try and figure out the uh, charge in this picture as I go through here as well. Alright. So here I go. I'm going to count up the number of positives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So I have eleven pluses, eleven positives. So it's a plus eleven. How about this? Negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight negatives. Okay, which one do I have more of? I have more of the positive particles. How many more do I have? Three. So therefore, my overall charge is three plus. Let's throw this into a math equation. I'll go in the top of uh, right-hand corner here. Eleven plus a negative eight equals a positive three charge. So a positive three again on this slide as well. Okay, let's try the next one. Next one, seriously, just trust, press the pause button and give a shot, okay? A lot of, uh, a lot of positive, positive particles here, a lot of negative particles. Take your time, count this up, all right? Press pause, and I'll come back with the answer. All right, guys, here we go. I went ahead and solved this problem, and if I count it correctly, I have 12 positive particles, and if I count it correctly, I also have 12 negative particles, and therefore my overall charge is zero. That's right, it's a zero charge. That's right. If you got a zero charge, this is what you say. Yay! Okay, so one thing I want you to see here is that even when I have a zero charge, a neutral charge, it doesn't mean I don't have particles. It just means I have a balance of particles. This is a great example because a zero charge simply means I have 12 positive particles and 12 negative particles as well. And really when I add up those numbers, zero is my answer. Let's check out the next station. We're not going to go through every station that the students did in class today, but just to give you an idea of the activity we did in class today. Okay, you know the drill. Press pause. Solve the problem. I'll give you the answers in a second. Okay, all you chemistry studs, here we go. I want you to check this out. I've numbered the particles this time. I've numbered them. So the most of the positives, the highest number of positive particles I've found is 10. We have 10 positive particles. Let's put that right here. We got 10 pluses. Awesome. How many negatives did I find? I counted out 12 negatives. Here's the 12th one I found over here. So I have 12 negatives. 10 plus and 
12 minus. Okay, which side do I have more of? I clearly have more on the negative side. How many more negatives do I have? Two more negatives. So therefore, the charge is two negative. Feel free also to express this as a negative two as well. That's fine, it's just a form of expression. If you want to step in a math problem, you'd have 10 plus a negative 12. It gives me a final number calculated out to be two minus. And I just want you to know that in our class, when I say a two minus charge, what I'm trying to express is I have two more negative charges. That is what I'm trying to express. If your answer was two minus as well, that's fine. We're gonna do one more example, and after that, I have a feeling that you'll feel very comfortable in using this. A lot of particles going on in this picture here. We're at station number five, same station because it did in class today. So once again, you know the drill, press pause, and solve it away. Okay, chem students, here we go. I've taken the liberty here. I press pause myself, and this is the, the countings that I've made here. I've counted 15 positive particles, and I've counted nine negative particles. And I did a little math equation up here as well. 15 plus a negative nine equals plus six. So your answer could have been, it could have been plus six. I write down six positive, either or is fine. I want you to understand I have six more positive particles. And that gives me a six plus charge. So that is the whole goal here, is really as we look at atoms, and we're not looking at an atom right now, we're just looking at a screen, and the picture has positive and negative particles on here. So this is definitely not an atom, but an atom does have positive and negative charges. And as we start expressing elements and expressing their charges, I do want you to get a good hold on what a positively charged particle means. Positively charged particle simply means I have more positive charges in that particle. And likewise, in the previous slide, I know we had a negatively charged uh, screen. That simply meant I have more negative particles. So I do want you to see these numbers have meaning behind them. They're not just a six plus and a six minus or a five plus and a five minus. I'm trying to get a grasp of a balance between the number of positive particles and the number of negative particles. I hope this helped you understand uh, how to calculate charges. We'll be using this again in class on the next day we meet. All right, I'll see you then. Best wishes.